Hey everybody, it's Warren and Julie, and big news on the Social Security uh, front here for 2025. Um, as most of you guys know, Julie and I, we early retired, we're traveling the world, and we've been living on less than the Social Security budget for a couple, um, for almost five years now, and we referenced these rate that Social Security pays single people and a couple in most of our videos to do a comparison. In 2025, we have an increase going on of a 2.5%. Is that even realistic for you guys that are experiencing inflation in the United States? We have a hard time digesting that that's real from what we're hearing out there. And of course, we see a little bit different because we have currency fluctuations as we're traveling, but 2.5%. Let us know, is that going to keep you whole? But what does that mean to you? So if you are single, in 2025, the average Social Security check is going to be $1,976. So just shy of $2,000 a month for the average single person. And then if you're a couple, you're going to go to $3,089 on average for two people. So Julie and I, we've been averaging what? 2900 $2,900 a month over five years I, and I think last year we were a little over 2800 so we're we're doing this without even trying in our lifestyle but we're living abroad so when you're living abroad life can be less expensive so uh, this is probably gonna push some of you guys to even consider moving abroad but even for the medical care um, it's much cheaper abroad but let's talk about uh, the Medicare side too. So you've got your 2.5% increase for the Social Security, which again, we don't know how that fits into your inflation world. But we are now going to be looking at uh, Medicare. So first off, if you're moving abroad, if you have Medicare Part A, B, and a supplement, uh, you know, I am an insurance agent from the States. Um, so if you're looking for medical coverage internationally, come to me. Because if you have Medicare A, B, and D, if you're in America, A, B, I'm sorry, if you have Medicare A, B, and a supplement, and you're traveling or living abroad, we can get you better rates uh, through some of the carriers I represent. So I'm an insurance agent from the United States, then you could go to warrenjulietravel.com and check out our website, but email me, especially if you're in the Medicare age bracket, and uh, email me at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com, and I'll see what I can do to provide you with an adequate quote for your life abroad until you can maybe get into a place where you can get onto a national health system. So we're going to talk about some countries that are good for that. Um, but first off, let's talk about what's going on with Medicare. Um, so your Medicare is going to increase in cost as well. So Medicare B premiums are projected to increase to $185 up from $174.70. Um, the premiums for D are also going to be rising and the uh, the good news is with Medicare D the donut hole is going away so the out-of-pocket drug costs will be capped at two thousand dollars starting in 2025 but those rising premiums um, it's definitely going to be something to to plan for and for those of you um, on the Medicare parts A and B and have a supplement remember international coverage is more flexible for you I've got some options for you um, so if you're looking at moving abroad, where would you recommend for somebody on Social Security and a... Uh, Let's start with, with France. I mean, France has a great health care system. You can get in for 1,400, if you can net 1,400 euros a month uh, for a single person. And that is per person. So it's going to be 1,400 for the single person and 2,800 for the couple. Yeah, and so if you become a resident of... France. So the first year you'll need international coverage and we've done videos on France. Um, go check out our playlist on France, but it's a great option for somebody that if you're on Social Security, you don't have a huge nest egg or, or heirs to leave um, assets behind because one of the drawbacks to France is that if you are a resident there and you pass away, the inheritance laws are a little bit screwy and um, you want to make sure that your spouse gets everything that she should be getting or that your children do but if you are on social security don't have a huge nest egg it's just you and your spouse um, it's a great option yeah it's a great great way to stretch your social security and get a really good health care system provided by your residency in France so check out our videos on France um, another option Romania 
And Romania, you have to do this uh, little corporate dance. You have to open up a corporation, pay some minimum tax. You have to have a little bit of a purpose, but it's doable. And you can be on the Romanian healthcare system uh, because you're pay paying that minimum tax. And it, your dollar goes a really, really a long ways in Romania. So it that's does. And it's a beautiful country. It has the sea. It has the mountains. It has it all. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Serbia. Let's talk Serbia. A lot of people don't think about Serbia, but it's a great country and it does have a health system as well. Yeah, well, if you go south to uh, South America, a lot of expats have found their little Shangri-La in Ecuador. A lot of them up in Cuenca as well. Um, by becoming a resident of Ecuador, you also get to be part of their health care system. So your dollar goes a lot further. And if you're living on Social Security and this is your way of surviving, um, you may want to consider life abroad. Um, and we spent nine and a half months in Ecuador. We have a lot of friends there, a lot of them retirement age. They are living a fantastic life. They love it. And their health care has been fantastic. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to come to where we are right now, Montenegro, you can get residency by home ownership. However, it's a small country, 600,000 people, and you do get access to their uh, health care system only if you are open in a corporation, not through home ownership. So we may not recommend Montenegro in the same way that we might recommend other places, but Montenegro is a great affordable place to live. Yes. Um, health care is inexpensive, but if you do the corporation uh, set up here, you can have access to their health care system, but it is stretched out. It's not as robust as some of the bigger countries. We love Montenegro, but you'll have to weigh those uh, pros and cons. So we released this information to our Facebook group the other day, um, so two days earlier than what we're getting it out here. So if you join our Facebook group, you can get some of these updates sooner. You can also learn about what it's like to live abroad, how we do life abroad, and also our residency expert interviews. We look at real estate. So make sure you're subscribing. Um, so that you can follow along and join the Facebook group that we have, Warren Julie Travel. And we hope that we're going to pick up some new subscribers today. And, uh, you know, we're traveling with our two dogs and slow traveling, spending a month to three months in the country, sharing our experiences and expenses. And we want you along for the ride. And, you know, a large portion of our viewers are retirees. And over half of our viewers come from America. So this uh, video is important for you guys. And that's why we try to compare ourselves to the Social Security budget in our videos. Because we know for a lot of you, this is what you have to live on and what you've planned with. And the states might not be making it easy for you. What is the inflation like where you are? What have you experienced? Tell us uh, in the comments below. It's 2.5% it's realistic. I don't think so, but I'd love to hear from others. Yeah. So until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao.